Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. So as you can see, today's video is a haul and it is the beginning of my autumn transition. So summer is definitely still here. It's still really warm. However, shops are starting to feed through into their more autumnal color palettes at the moment and I am all for it. I love the autumn color palettes and I love incorporating them into my summer wardrobe because I think there's so many ways that you can keep summer going while still adding a little taste of autumn in, which is essentially the transitional wardrobe because that is what it is, it's your transition into autumn. So you slowly mix and match pieces and kind of gradually end up with more layers and longer layers, etc. But this is kind of my collection from Topshop's New In. They honestly have one of the best collections right now and I bought all of this literally like straight away. I went on the website for a browse to find a jacket, didn't end up with the denim jacket that I was after, but I ended up with a whole host of other things that I actually didn't necessarily want or need, but decided to buy anyway. So I'm gonna go through and share these with you and try them on. I'm gonna start with accessories because I picked up a bag and a pair of shoes, which are really, really cute and definitely kind of investment trend pieces for the season. So this was only 25 pounds, which for a Topshop bag is actually quite a reasonable price. Normally they're kind of 30 pounds or higher and I just fell in love with it. They did have a different colorway, which I believe was like the nude color with a black strap I think I might be wrong in that but I thought this was a gorgeous one it goes really well with kind of the whole rail and my general vibe of outfit colors don't really tend to wear much color she says while wearing a bright blue dress but this is a great investment bag for the season and 25 pounds is so affordable especially when it's a trend led bag like this as well so the contrasting little strap is really really adorable I love the little like tortoise shell style detailing here as well and I love the fact that the strap is kind of like this cool like handheld sling it on your arm kind of affair and it just looks really cute and then when you open the bag up it literally is just like a giant bucket for a bag and then for shoes I picked up these gorgeous little nude ones which are definitely like a summer and autumn staple so I would wear these with a little white dress or with some shorts and like a big jumper or something or I would equally wear these with like jeans and a big jumper like there's so many different ways you can wear them and so many different color palettes that they go with because they are quite a light neutral shoe I love the little small heel the round toe is really cute as well and they're a great height and I also love that they're not like tight fitting to your ankles because I think ankle boots have that thing where they can kind of make your legs look a bit chunkier or they can really slim you out. £39 for a pair of ankle boots on the high street I think it's quite a good price point and definitely love the kind of style and texture of these. They're really really good boots they're going to last me a few years and they're definitely like an investment piece as well. And then moving on to the rail we're going to start with the first thing which is a blazer because what a surprise I live in blazers and I've bought another one but I don't actually own one that is grey and that's something that shocked me because I have like black, white, cream, neutral, red, all these different colours but I don't own a grey so I thought I'd go ahead and get a really nice classic long line double breasted grey jacket which I actually own this exact one in like a really nice like ready pink so I knew it would fit really nicely and I just thought I'd get my hands on it because grey is a great colour for autumn winter it's also a really easy one to style with pretty much everything if you don't want something as harsh as black because I am an absolute black fiend I love wearing black I have so much black in my wardrobe but I'm trying to step away and kind of lighten up my palette a little bit and opt for more greys and stuff so this was actually £55 and I believe you can probably find like a bottom half that matches this because I have like I said the same in red and I have suit trousers that match but I bought this true to size and it fits so nicely on the shoulders and it just looks amazing like I won't be able to wear chunky jumpers and stuff under it which I'm not really that bothered about because it's quite a nice fitting style that you could just wear like a t-shirt and shorts or something under and kind of dress up what would otherwise be quite basic. Moving on I have something that I'm predicting is going to be one of the hottest trends for autumn because everywhere I look at the moment there is some variation of these and I just know they're going to be a big one so I thought I'd get my hands on some pretty early on. So these are some little leather shorts which cost £29. They are so cute and comfortable. I I actually tried these on quickly yesterday because I considered wearing them out last night and I really like the kind of waistband so it's got this really nice thick waistband it's got the buttons at the front with a little pleat detailing and it makes your legs look incredible because where it kind of balloons out a little bit on the leg it just makes your legs look like they go on for days and it gives you kind of like a nice tiny little waist effect and yeah I just really liked them black's just easy to style you could put a shirt with it and style it up for the office with some heels you could put a jumper with it and put it with some boots you could literally wear this so many ways like even a t-shirt and the blazer like for example this blazer 
with these shorts and a white t-shirt and some trainers would look really really cute so definitely worth having a look into and 29 pounds is so affordable then moving on i picked up this top 16 pounds so very affordable for like a t-shirt style and it's just a really nice textured crop with the kind of little puff sleeves here and I honestly got this to go with all the stuff that I bought on this rail because it's so adorable and I love the fact that it's long enough, I think. I haven't actually tried this on yet. I think it's going to be long enough to tuck into like shorts and jeans and stuff so I can wear a belt round. But also, if you want to just look a little bit shorter, you can kind of just bunch it up a little bit. Okay, can we just appreciate, I've just gone to try this on for the try on bit of this and I've just got makeup on it and you can see my nipples. But on with the show but i really like it i think it's probably going to need like a little cami underneath or something so it's quite thin or even just like a nice lacy bra um but yeah i thought it was really really cute and definitely a kind of ode to autumn winter while keeping kind of summer focused because it is still quite lightweight then the next thing we've got is this pleated skirt which looks like a skirt but it's actually short and this is from the icon range and came to 42 pounds and i have to admit I don't know if this is going to be a bit too long for me because I am quite short, so I'm going to look if there's a petite version, obviously, if that is the case. But I really like the detail of it, and I loved the colour. It's kind of like a nice reddy brown, like, earthy tone, and the gold detailing is super cute. Love the little claspy bits here. I love the pleated detailing, and it kind of just reminds me of, like, the little kilt style that was everywhere last year that we all fell for, and I think it's going to be back with force. And you could wear this with this, and it'll be really, really cute with some little boots, or you could wear it with like a jumper or a t-shirt or however you choose to wear it and it will look really sweet. Moving on, we have this jumper which is a little bit different for me, not something I'd normally go for. And this was £35 and it's just a kind of wide necked jumper with the kind of classic jumper knit here. And then the knit on the arms is slightly smaller and they've got this cute little button detailing which has just got two really big gold buttons on each sleeve which I thought was a really nice detail. Simple jumper, I own a lot of white jumpers, I think that's not a secret, and yeah, I just thought it was a really sweet design to have, and it kind of mixes up your knitwear a bit, because I think knitwear can very easily be like all of the same, but in different colours, so it's nice to mix up and have like a bit of a detail, or a different print, or a different texture, like different kinds of cable knit and stuff just to mix it up a little bit. Then we have my first kind of jacket of the season. So I don't think I'm quite ready to transition into full coats, but a nice jacket is perfect, specifically a shacket, but I hate the word so much that I refuse to use it. I actually own a pale blue version of this that I got from Zara last year and really, really love it. So I think this is gonna be one that I wear a lot. You could wear a jumper under this, you could wear a t-shirt under this, dress it up, dress it down, like I said. Very easy to just throw on, but it's also kind of the statement of an outfit. So if you are feeling a bit more casual but you wanted to wear like something that makes it a little bit more something this is definitely one to go for especially if you are like me obsessed with blazers this is quite a nice alternative to a blazer and this one cost 49 pounds so a little bit pricey but worth it if you're going to wear it a lot and when you go for a nice kind of neutral color like black white this kind of color gray it's really easy to style in so many different color palettes and so many outfits that you'll definitely get a lot of wear out of it then we have our second thing from the icon range which came to 29 pounds and it's this little blouse which i have to admit on the website it looks a lot more white and probably on this vlog it looks quite white however it is quite a yellowy white it's like a very like yellowy cream so i'm not sure how i feel about it i'm gonna try it in a few different outfits and see what i think i don't even know the word of this hemline hemline neckline neckline it's not a hemline but it's just got a really nice kind of detailing on the front and i love the little like soft mesh as well and the pleating so definitely one that you could wear if you are kind of a working girl and you need some office attire or if you just like being a bit smarter and yeah i just really, really liked it i think it will look great with leather trousers or a leather skirt shorts denim like whatever you decide to wear it with this will look really cute so definitely like a statement piece of an outfit as i said with the jacket then we have our last like fashion item per se which is these shorts which now i've got them i've actually realized the legs are different lengths so i tried these on briefly last night and one leg is considerably longer than the other so these are going to be swapped but i'm keeping them for sure because they're really nice on if they were different length legs and these are a really gorgeous denim short that is a kind of similar shape to the leather shorts they're a little bit more balloon legged and they've got this really gorgeous dark stitching in that is kind of like western inspired like i would wear these with cowboy boots 100 percent and like a nice little hat or something but i really like them they're going to be great for trips that i've got coming up in the year and they're just a really nice take on a denim short because i think sometimes you can own denim and it all just looks the same you obviously want bits that you can kind of switch up and wear something a little bit different that is a bit more of a statement to an outfit which is obviously where these kind of things come in. These are £32 and I sized up in these because I wanted a looser fit. Definitely recommend because they fit like a dream. But yeah, I'm going to be keeping them 100% but 
<laughs> definitely a bit of a quality error on that one and then the last thing i've got is slightly travel focused and like loungewear focused because I love lounging around the house wearing like really comfy things. I have a lot of like matching sets and like joggers and jumpers and all that kind of thing. And I just love loungewear, but I also like loungewear that I can wear out. So if I need to run to the post office for whatever reason, if I'm going to the airport, if I'm going food shopping, like any little errands I need to run, if I'm driving to my parents' house, like whatever I'm doing, I like to just chill and wear something really comfortable but stylish at the same time. So I'm not like actually full on slobbing. So I picked up the same jumpsuit in two colorways because I'm obviously off to Disney in a couple of weeks time and thought that I would just buy something that I can wear on the plane, chuck a Hogwarts jumper over the top, you know, Disney it up a little bit, but something that I'd be mega comfortable in. I picked up, like I said, the exact same in two different colours. So I've got the grey, which is obviously a bit more loungy, and the black, which I think is the one I'm more likely to wear out. And these are both, I think both the same price, £29, I think. Yeah, so both came to £29. And I'm going to show you the details on the grey because it's a bit easier. But it's just got the little spaghetti strap style. It's got the little kind of cinched waist that you can draw string and pull. So you can make this tighter if you wanted to. It's got the buttons down the front and it's got pockets, which was a big selling point for me. It's got some little pockets. Also, the softest jersey I've ever felt. Like, it is so super soft. The black is the same. And I really like these. I definitely think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of them. I think they're going to probably show up a lot in the vlogs because I'm obviously always at home and lounging around and stuff. But... I just really love them. I think they're so comfortable and stylish and just easy to wear. Like the one thing that I always think when I wear like loungy stuff, because I see girls on Instagram who wear like sweatpants and crop tops and they look so good. And that's just not me. Like I don't look good in sweatpants. So anything I can get like that, that can make me look slightly stylish if I just chuck on like a denim jacket and some cute trainers and stuff. Like if you can make me look stylish like that, I am all for it because that is what I'd love to wear ultimately every single day. But yeah, that is basically my little Topshop collection for the transition into autumn. And I definitely think a lot of this is going to be featuring quite quickly on my Instagram. Might already be up, so if you have a look on my Instagram account, I'll pop it on the screen here. There is a lot of outfits that kind of creep in just before the vlogs go live because haul videos are filmed in advance, obviously. So sometimes things do get worn ASAP because if you're anything like me, I wear everything the second it comes into my existence. Existence? Into my possession. Possession. If you are wondering, the Disney vlogs, which is what I mentioned a minute ago with the jumpsuits and stuff, are going to be daily. I'm going to have a whole explanation in another video, but I really hope you enjoyed this one. And I'll see you in my next one, which I think is potentially a Disney one. <laughs> Bye, guys.